I love the look of anamorphic film, but anamorphic lenses are expensive and anamorphic adapters can be difficult to use. In this video, I took my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera out and shot with a vintage lens, the Helios 58mm, to see if I could recreate the anamorphic film look. I shot with the lens wide open at f2 to achieve shallow depth of field and soft edges, giving the footage a vintage look. I shot my footage in 6K RAW, 6144 by 2560 at 60 frames per second slow motion to be specific. You don't have to shoot 60 frames per second slow motion, but you should shoot at 24 frames per second for a natural film look. Then at home, I launched Adobe Premiere Pro, created a new project, and imported all of my footage. Drag and drop one of your clips onto the empty timeline area. This creates a sequence with your clip's properties, including resolution. If you shot your footage in a resolution that mimics the widescreen view of anamorphic like I did, you could skip this next step. If you shot your footage in 16x9 HD or 16x9 4K Ultra HD, you will need to do the following to create the widescreen aspect ratio. Select the Sequence drop-down menu, top left-hand side of the screen, and choose Sequence Settings. Change the frame size to one of the following to mimic the look of 235 to 1. For Ultra HD, 3840 by 1634. For HD, 1920 by 817. Then press OK. You will notice that you now have a widescreen to work in, but the top and bottom of your image has been cropped out. Keep this in mind when shooting. If you did not shoot for this crop, double click on your clip in the timeline, and then click on the Effect Controls tab. Adjust the position controls to reframe your shot to your liking. Next, create an adjustment layer by clicking the new item icon on the bottom left hand side of your screen and choose adjustment layer. Then press OK. This adds an adjustment layer clip to your bin. Drag and drop the adjustment layer onto a video track above your footage on the timeline. Then go to the Effects tab and drag and drop the following four effects onto the adjustment layer in the timeline. 1. Lens Distortion 2. Transform 3. VR Chromatic Aberrations Four, Lumetri Color. Next, adjust each effect according to these settings. In Lens Distortion, put the curvature at 9, and put Vertical Decentering to 1. In the Transform effect, Put the scale to 110. In the VR Chromatic Aberrations effect, put the red to minus 1, the green at 0, and the blue to plus 1. In Lumetri Color, add a vignette. I'm going to go with an amount of minus 0.02. I'll also use the Lumetri color effect to grade my footage. You can add a LUT if you shot in log. It's under the basic correction tab. 
Just select your LUT under Input LUT. In addition, or instead, you can also experiment with looks in the Lumetri color effect. It's under the Creative tab. Open the Look drop-down menu and select one of Adobe's preset looks. They have some nice film options in there. You can also adjust the intensity of the look with the slider. It's up to you. Use a look that fits the mood of your film. I also added film grain. You can find it for free on Shutterstock. I'll leave a link in the description below this video if you'd like to download it. Import the film grade into your project. And then add it above the adjustment layer track on your timeline. Double click on the grain clip. In the upper left hand corner of the screen, select the effect controls tab. Resize the film grain clip if you need it to be bigger or smaller. Under Opacity, change the Blend Mode to Overlay. If it's too much grain for your liking, bring the Opacity level down. You can also add some anamorphic lens flares. This is a free one I had downloaded from Cinepax. I'll leave a link in the description below this video if you want to try them for yourselves. You just drop it above your clip on the timeline and then go into effects controls and change the blending mode to screen. You can also adjust the opacity if necessary. That's it. That's how I made my anamorphic film look. I exported the video as an H.264 file. I basically modified the YouTube 2160p preset and the frame size changed to same as source. Thank you.